Siege can be a frustrating game if you take a long break, but it's important that you learn these seven things for any new or returning players coming back to Siege in year seven, season four. Now there's been a lot of good changes. This is probably one of the best seasons that we've had in years since like Outback came out like two years ago. So if you guys are unfamiliar with the new season, go check it out on my channel where I have any YouTube updates. But there are seven things that I think that you guys should know. The first one that you should know is that the 1.5 scope rocks. We are in a meta right now of Swinger B Swung and the 1.5 scope is probably helpful for any defender that you have. It's arguably one of the most effective scopes in the game right now. It's not too aggressive in the zoom. It's like an ACOG, but it's not too, you know, slow as like a, a 1x for long range. But that means you kind of rock it right in the middle, which is going to be a lot better for close and long range gunfights. It will also help you get a lot more headshots too. Like I said, the 2x is personal preference. I use it on some guns, but it is a bit zoomed in on certain gunfights and the ACOG is almost almost extinct now. I don't know anybody that uses ACOG nowadays. Unfortunately, that ACOG was probably my all-time favorite scope game, but it's just not meta anymore with the 1.5 scope. I recommend that you use it on as many defenders as possible. Try to get only good with the 1.5, and it's not even a crutch. It's just what is whatever strong right now, and when you're a returning player coming back to the game, you want to use what's most effective to get you the upper hand above your competition. Practice in T-Hunts, get good with it. We'll start practicing the 1.5s today. The second thing that you should a new or returning player should know in Rainbow Six is the meta operators and the guns. Like I said, you want to get every advantage that you can. And often, if you want to get good at anything, you want to see what's working, what, what's meta. Now, some attackers I recommend are Twitch, Ace, Ayana, Sledge, and Lion. Now, the reason I said Lion is because of his EMPs and the Gon 6. Now, if you don't know what those are, you should do a little more studying on the game. But it basically it makes you like almost like a Swiss army now. These, all these operators I said are perfect to any lineup and i recommend you try these guys out but obviously use whatever you want now on defense 1.5 scopes are literally the meta almost any operator is good or in meta because they have a 1.5 scope now i recommend azami solus warden capkin or doc those are on the top of my head and you're actually surprised that i probably didn't say smoke even though he's one of my favorite operators and i advise everybody to get good with the smg 11 and the shotgun but now it's most effective that you get good with a 1.5 scope now the third thing i have for any new or returning players is basic site setups. Understanding a good site setup will create you to uh, have more consistent defense strats as well as creating lines of sight to make you a consistent defender to help you win more rounds. Now site setups you're going to have to play the game a little bit and kind of identify common patterns in the game, question everything and really make a concrete one in your brain. But there's really no right 100% uh, good site setup but there's one that's most effective and you want to know what those set setups are check out my second channel link is in the description where i post uh setup videos for everyone the fourth thing for a new or returning player would be building consistency is the best way to gain experience especially when you're a new player now if you're a returning player i highly recommend that you get back in touch with your sensitivity go into the advanced ads sensitivity and look at your 1.5 scope 1x 2x even if you use acog but get comfortable with it you know the sensitivity you were you had like two years ago might be a boomer now you might want to use a slower aim so obviously you might want to slow that down or higher it depends on what you want to do so get your sense right you know do a little bit of warm-ups practice getting getting the mechanics of it um but another thing that helps build consistency is your attack strategies how do you approach the map i know are you just entering a random room every time do you feel lost but in order to not feel lost especially as a new player is to repeat the same attack uh, i don't mean that sound boring but repeat like the same route that you have that way you can really find out what's effective on every bomb site to help you win. Now, confidence comes from experience and experience comes with them playing the game more. So if you're ever feeling inconfident, you feel new to the game, that just means you haven't played enough yet. Trust me, within like a week or two of playing, you will be fine. You might even feel like a noob. You might feel like a boomer come back to the game and just so old reaction time shit. But don't worry, all that is a myth. But what is real is that you're going to feel like a noob the first one to two weeks, but within playing the game consistently and, you know, somewhat a lot be okay just know that siege is a very unique fps with unique mechanics and pacing compared to other games it's a lot slower and more stretched out so you have to kind of get used to it versus like valorant uh csgo another like 5v5 concept i will say though i've been enjoying overwatch 2 and my favorite character is definitely new tank from Matra. the fifth thing that any player should be understanding in new meta is rank 2.0 i know this is kind of like a newer thing or like maybe kind of older concept but it's important that 
every new player understands kind of rank 2.0 because that's what we're playing now if you don't really understand it too much is that early elo you are going to get maybe around 80 plus a game 80 plus you heard me and when you lose you're gonna lose nine elo you heard me right but that's only the beginning I want to capitalize on that as much as possible um so i recommend you guys five stack as much as you can even if you do solo queue listen i know solo queue is rough but if you lose what five games that is nothing that's like half of what you would gain in a one win one win is all you really need so the thing is it's like a battle pass now the more you play the game though the more you play ranked you know it's just gonna it's just a numbers game how many more how many who can play the most matches is probably gonna get a higher rank you might hear champion no longer has its strong value as it used to it's still champion i think you aren't a true champion if you don't hit at least like top uh top like seven eight hundred eight hundred to seven hundred um so you really want to go for that just kind of think of you're in diamond if you're ever in like a thousand champs um but going on from there it is if you're ever wondering how the skill is going to work so basically there are two different ranks the first rank is your public rank the second one is your personal rank so the public rank is what everybody's going to see you know your gold one two three four five stuff like that right but that doesn't this is not this rank the public rank is not what you're going up against you are going up against your personal rank now the most confusing part you gotta, you gotta pay attention here when i started the season i was in champion elo i was going up against pros other high level players and champion ranked last season but we all started in copper everybody starts in copper so even though i was competing in copper i was going up against skill-based champs so if you are a real copper a public rank if your public rank is copper then you're going to go up against uh or if your personal rank is copper then you're going to go up against other copper players in copper but you're going to go like it's like your public rank and then you're going to face up against people that are in your own personal rank that are also in that public rank and that was a little bit confusing but that's just how it works and it's good that you guys understand that so take advantage of rank 2 point as much as you can if you haven't hit champ this is your season to hit. the next thing for a new player or turning player to learn is how to learn how to jiggle peek jiggle peeking is probably like a pillar of siege mechanics if you can learn how to jiggle peek then you're already ahead of like 50 percent of the competition already but if you know what jiggle peeking is if you've heard of the cycle peek you heard of the quick peek learning any kind of stuff like that don't strafe w asd like don't don't that that's not strafing that's not or that's not quick peeking because your your quick lean comes from your player leaning that's where the the speed comes from uh, the reason i say this is because siege servers are notorious for peekers advantage and being laggy at times so uh you know take advantage of that ping if you have high ping then you want to play more aggressive but if you have low ping then you can kind of get away with uh lower latency peaks like putting angles and uh seeing enemies a little bit for a little bit pretty easier on your side but understanding peekers advantage is basically if you don't know what that means peekers advantage means that when you are swinging an enemy so basically if you were the one moving in the gunfights let's say someone is pulling an angle on this doorway and you're over here right if i'm doing this i'm gonna see this guy or he sees my character moving so i'm gonna have that like extra split second badge maybe it, it can even be as much as like almost like a quarter of a second that's a lot if someone's standing still so if you ever find yourself i'm not even i don't even see this guy on my screen you're not going crazy it's most likely peak's advantage so use that to your advantage when you are doing this and it's a meta peak to help you stay alive and win more gunfights as well and the last thing that i have for you guys on this list is to find and reach out to older friends so if you want a five stack having a network is very very strong nowadays because nowadays everyone sucks especially with rank 2.0 you never know like oh this guy's in emerald oh no wait hold on let me do the math with rank 2.0 let's take away two ranks emerald platinum gold oh these guys are so you don't want to fool yourself but you want to find the people that are best for you in the solution so don't be afraid don't be shy reach out there to new people be like hey you want to play some ranked uh or you know if they do good in a solo queue match add them because the worst thing they can say is no but that is like the best way that i can say for you to enjoy this huge experience because at the end of the day after all these tips it's important that you are playing the game in the first place that is to have fun and it's to vibe out and enjoy siege while you can you shouldn't feel like she getting on siege is a chore if that is the case i think you should go play a different game for a little bit and come back to siege when you're in a bit more of a refined loop now those are the seven tips i have for any new or returning players if this video did help you i appreciate it if you left a like and check out this video for a little bit more tips to help you guys on this channel thank you guys for watching have a good rest of your day